Roper throwing Gazimova immediately um, with her favorite. I I, I'm assuming that it's Koso Tagaki because that's normally her method of operation. No. Well, we can't see. That's really Congratulations to the cameraman again now. I hope they don't listen to this. <laughs> you know, what can you do when you just see their backside? I was going to say, we've got a lovely view of the, uh, the gi fabric, and that's about it. So sooner or later, somebody is going to hear what we say, and I'm going to be, I don't know, in some bar or something, I'm going to get whacked. The only time that tight shot has worked for me is if you get some of the kumigata there, you could see a little bit of the inside. And we saw that one view of um, Marty Malloy's uh, Gigi Katame, which was very interesting. But that was also see, a review's view. But otherwise, it really doesn't do as much. You see, if you're in Nevaza, they're not moving as quickly, and there's no way they're going to cover any, any kind of distance. But if you're standing in, in Tachiwaza, they can always hook in. There's a Ken Ken that goes really, really quickly. And if, you, if, if you're too close, they're out the shot within seconds. That's right. Yeah, I just don't like that um, close. I must, I must be getting old because uh, there are a number of things that I'm beginning to say I don't like, I don't like. So A few pet peeves? My, my apologies at home if I um, wear on you, but you know, we want to see the action. I think a few folks at home might have a similar opinion, Sheldon. All right, Roper still. Mazzari is the lead. And we at least mercifully got to see Ben Spikers rolling his arms over, so we know it was passivity. Because that's another pet peeve of mine. <laughs> when they cut from the referee to give a penalty. Oh! Could, could have gone down onto a side there. I, I can't. Not quite. No, Ro Roper go. is just fight, fighting out her skin re um, recently, isn't she? Yep, yep. So dangerous. Incredibly dangerous fighter. Right now, leading by Wazadi. Man. Two twenty left to go. Kazimova has picked up two penalties, but Roper has got the big score on there. Increases her lead now, Yuko and Wazari. All right, so we pretty much a commanding lead. Couple of warnings, for Yuko or Wazari. Zimova could go again here, bent over, 
defensive, picks up a third um, penalty. There's a minute 35 left to go. Roper now um, has to box clever because Gazimova is also a really dangerous thrower. Roper will know that. We've been up against her before, but turns are almost, and now to work on the arm. This looks good. And if, if there's enough, um, yep, and, and the tap. look at where that took place. Completely outside the area, but because the action um, started, started in the inside. there was no reason for Spikers to call um, uh, uh, Mate because it had all the signs of being able to continue, so we allowed it to and it finished off. The minute that it looked as though it wasn't going anywhere, he would have called Mate. But there was every possibility that Roper could have secured the Kansetsu was at the, um, uh, the, the tap out. Here she applies it. So he lets that go, and she has to tap out. I like the way she methodically turns the hand, gets the thumb toward her. 